Uh, stapling is nice because it's fast and will turn the edges out. So here I'm approximating the skin, everting it, getting it close together so that the skin edges are touching and then placing uh, the stapler. And you don't need necessarily to push down very hard. I think it's very controlled motion is key that when you're stapling, the end of the stapler is not really moving at all. Try to grab it near the end of the stapler. You'll have more sort of torque advantage. And again, just like simple sutures, you have to decide how many staples you need and each wound, what each wound needs for approximation. Well, how do we take these out? This is a, a staple remover. Um, basically, it'll grab the staple, which has turned its edges in to, to approximate and will open the edges of the staple and then it'll straighten them so they pull right out. And so here you see as you push down on the staple remover, it unbends those ends of the staple. It aligns them so now they become straight and then this, the uh, staple will literally simply lift out of the wound. We push down, spreads it, and as it straightens it, it just pops straight up. Sometimes if the, uh, the bending apparatus doesn't really straighten them completely, you can just, as you're stapling, rock it gently. And here's an example with just a needle driver where literally you just spread, so you're trying to open those tines, and as it does, it'll come out. If you're going to do this, it's usually better to do this on a patient who's asleep because it can hurt.